Hey, what's going on guys? It's uh, Undying OGC here with another video from Original Gamer Gaming Culture. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Today we're going to be talking about the hero Elena. Elena is one of my favorites. Uh, my, my typical mount is actually Elena with uh, one of her skins riding an ostrich, wearing a swimming float, and sunglasses. It's actually balling. Anyways, let's jump in. Let's take a peek at Elena. So Elena is uh, a general. She is also a, a mastery of the uh, cavalry for humans. So the the human cavalry is about to get a huge buff. By the time this video is up, that buff will be just about here, if not here. Uh, human cavalry is getting a uh, a big buff up, and we'll see a lot more of them being used. It's going to be 25% more attack, 25% more HP. Add that on with Avalon's buff of 49% more HP and all of the stuff from Elena. Calvary is going to be the new meta, I think. Granted, this video is being recorded days before the patch is actually coming out. That's my guess, though. That is my guess. So, that being said, this is uh, my, my setup for Elena. Currently, uh, I do not... Um, play human or anything with humanoids. Uh, so her gear set really isn't geared towards that uh, super much. However, I, I try and keep some command on her because the command will influence her other skills, uh, specifically the one that increases her magic resistance. Don't worry, we will cover that. Uh, and for the weapon, I still go with stamina because I love stamina. So this is a, a typical setup. This is using the dragon, um, the dragon set, which will make it so that nearby uh, troops, their moral will not collapse for the first 20 seconds. You can also go with um, the typical general uh, setup, which will increase how much plunder you get. The dragon set uh, just gives more stats, uh, and I'm not going to craft flawless gears for, for her right now. So that's what I'm rolling with. This is uh, my, my PvP setup and kind of my, my general one. The I guess the big uh, noticeable item in this is um, the Badge of Righteousness. It has plus one to magic resistance. If you use Elena, you either need this badge, and if you don't have that badge, then you need this armor. The, the one that gives plus one to magic resistance. That is Elena's go-to skill. It's what makes Elena Elena, uh, along with everything else. But it, it will help you out no matter what race you are and whatever you're, you're playing. You, you need that skill. When I am doing um, uh, Dr Dragon's Abyss or something like that, and I'm depending on the, the Calvary, um, I, I typically won't run this. I'm doing this for the sake of the example. I'd, I'd go with plus one to more to the magic resistance, but one of her accessories increases her Calvary, uh, Calvary specialty, uh, which is like the, the mastery for, for um, human Calvary. That will become more uh, more frequently seen when uh, the, the Calvary actually comes out. So if I was to play human right, right now and run with uh, Calvary, I'd probably go with the setup like this because I want the, the mastery portion from, from the accessory and I can get the magic resistance from, from the armor. I have all my bases covered. The horse, this is the, the flawless version. It's called the Calvary plus one. So you can get uh, a higher level Calvary come out or um, you can up it from silver to gold or bronze to silver, Wh whatever level you're at. And then just a b basic weapon and actually, I have a better one that I should note that's, that's being used. I guess I don't have a better one. Uh, the uh, Elven Blade for extra command. The third setup is just uh, solely for the sake of um, queuing up troops. So the whole point is to get command up as, as high as possible to queue uh, troops. Um, since she is not a magic user, uh, she can use the, the scepter. Everything else, though, is just geared towards um, increasing command. So we'll go with her summoning setup, just, just go through all of her abilities. 
So no matter what, uh, I highly recommend one to two points at, at, at least um, at least one point. Uh, but two is easy enough to get into a strategic retreat. If you ever borrow a friend's turtle, uh, you might want to save your friend's turtle. Looking at you, Jenka. I don't know how many turtles you killed of mine in a week. Probably four. Like four dead. Maybe three. That might be an exaggeration. Three is not an exaggeration. It was probably three turtles dead in a week. Not even injured, but straight up dead. So if Jenka built his uh, Elena properly and had strategic retreat, he could have saved my turtles. So if... Uh, <laughs> I'm just picking on him. Um, this will save you Lenari. This will save you... Uh, Build time, this will make your friends happy. So get strategic retreat, um, it's huge. Pretty much uh, it's on its own separate cooldown so it won't interfere with anything else. It will take one unit and pull it out of the battle. If uh, a borrowed turtle is about to die, you can retrieve it. If uh, if your dragon's about to die or, or fall injured, fall asleep because nothing actually dies. If your dragon's about to fall asleep because his HP hits zero, then um, you can pull it out right before it, it dies. It will save you 100 Lunari or, or 18 hours. Uh, it's so easy to do and it will save you time. Elena needs to be alive in order to do that. That's the only catch. That being said, there's more little tips and tricks with this that we'll look at later on. We're coming back to strategic retreat. It's strategic. Then we have called the, the Calvary. This will summon... Um, so some in this case templars so some gold uh gold knights to charge into battle we also have saving lives saving lives um for anything that isn't mechs or tanks or undeads um this will increase your your um and, and how many troops uh, fall into injury rather than dying it will save you time in, in the long run it does stack with vega so Pretty much no matter who you are or what race you're running, you, you probably want this max. Um, Calvary Specialist, this is the typical mastery. Uh, command also helps this. Command helps pretty much all of uh, the her, her skills. Um, with Calvary special, Specialist, this, uh, this will affect um, Templars, uh, Lancers, all, all of the Knights from, from humans. It's important to note that this stacks on top of uh, Avalon's aura so if his aura is maxed out at, at level 10 then that's 49% more health you add this on top of Templars as well and then the, the update that's coming on uh, April 2nd 2019 to give them 25% more health and attack it all adds up so that the Templars um, might actually be viable uh, again to use we'll do reading it uh, ready and willing in a moment but first, let's look at the magic resist. No matter what race you are, this is huge. 55% uh, reduction from all magic. Magic, uh, I'm sorry, command also increases that that uh, how much uh, magic is reduced. If you're brand new, you're struggling with the Dragon Abyss Sages. You're going up against, say, um, the Red Dragon. Uh, and he calls down his uh, fire stuff, is hitting everywhere. All of your troops are dying and running away. You, that's all magic damage. You need some magic resistance. You can get that from Elena. You can get that from Talk, but uh, Elena offers the biggest. So every percent helps. So no matter what you're playing as, uh, as far as race, you want to get this maxed. Unless you're playing humans with uh, Templars, you just need to get uh, Elena to 45. So a lot of um, heroes I, I've, I've been pushing like need 50 on Avalon to max everything out. Uh, Elaine is one that unless you're running Templars uh, uh, as a human, you can get away with going uh, 45 on her. Of course, 50 is better, but uh, if, if you're low on hero EXP cards, you can definitely get away with 45. So when it comes to the uh, ready and willing, this gives you a ginormous EXP boost. Almost a... <laughs> you, you can actually get more than double um, the EXP boost on it. Uh, it, it's funny though, you can't actually max it out until you're, you're level 50 and uh, it's almost easier to go from 50 to 51 than say 49 to 50 as far as your, your level so that's kind of funny that they did it that way but to, to make it from 45 to 50 you get actually 100% EXP uh, that means if you're clearing the world, doing whatever 
uh, and you're trying to get her to 50, she's very easy to level up. So if you have multiple tabs, it might be worthwhile to get one where you just max that out. You can do whatever with the skill points, but you definitely want to max that one out. So that, that should be everything as far as Elena. Let's go take a peek and see, um, see how Elena functions. So for the sake of this, let's just go hit some random stuff. So it's like a bunch of swordsmen. Let's see how well her, um, her Calvary does. So Elena will, will run fours, call the Calvary. Her Calvary will come charging in. Let's save, uh, let's save the princess and the, the Calvary does the damage. Cool. It's, it's a, it's a cool story. One other thing that, uh, I'd like to point out with Elena is when you position her in the back, she'll actually stop. Whereas if you position her up here in the front, on the front half, see how the, the tiles are a uh, light green as opposed to more of a teal. If you position her up here, she'll run forwards and she'll be on the front line, uh, which uh, is, is not necessarily a good thing. So instead, if you position her in, in the, the back teal area, she'll stop running forwards and she'll just hang out in the back in a nice safe place. So one last thing I'd like to show you when it comes to the strategic retreat, uh, th th there's actually a few things, but we'll do one thing at a time, all right? And you know what, let's, let's get Avalon out here too. Let's get at Avalon because what? why not? We'll get Elena. We'll cover talk more in, in a future video. He's uh, the, the little crazy dude beating on the, the drums right now on the back of the dragon. Um, every time two abilities get cast uh, by, by your, your heroes, he will unleash uh, a random ability. Elena's strategic retreat, it does not uh, go off of the same timer as normal hero abilities, but it will still count towards talk. So check, check this out. We go in, we cast Avalon. So see how uh, talk has one, one yin yang filled up there. We just casted an, an ability and that was for Avalon to summon the archers. So we're going to use um, use the turtle ale, buff up the archers, and then we're going to do strategic retreat. So somebody's letting me borrow this turtle. I don't want to kill the turtle. I don't want to pull a Jenka. Let's make that a hashtag. Hashtag pulling a Jenka. I love you, man. Um, we're going to strategic retreat the turtle. And at the same time, that's going to trigger to uh, talk to cast his ability because he'll get two yin yangs. So we, we pulled it out. Now talk does the plasma strike. The plasma strike comes down. We have the archers there. And everybody comes. They, they attack us and whatever's going on. We're just sitting here and we will eventually kill them all. The archers are about to die, so we pull them out. We get another thing from talk. Anyways, that, that that's the big takeaway from, from Elena. Strategic retreat is huge. The other place that, that it can be really beneficial is if you are in the, the Dragon Abyss, um, say you're in the Dragon Abyss and, or maybe I should pull it up to, to show you guys what, what I'm talking about. Um, I don't wanna mess up my sages, but that's fine. So I'm, I'm not like su super far in uh, the, the Abyss right now. I, I, need to, I need to get working on that and stop being lazy. So if I'm here and I, I throw out um, my, my, my dragon, right? And let's just put out uh, a, a bunch of tanks just to keep things the, the way that they should be. Um, who else can tank? He, he can tank that, that's for sure. All right, whatever. So we're, we're here, we're, we're fighting. They all come in. All right, so see how the dragon just died and there's a giant moral boost for, for the enemy. The other thing we can do with the strategic retreat is we can prevent those moral boosts. So the enemies come charging in, right? 
the health of the dragon's going down, and then we pull the dragon out right before it dies. I, I did a little bit early, but um, you, you get the idea. If you pull that, that unit or troop set out um, before it dies, it will not trigger a giant moral boost, which will be your demise. So that's, that's everything that we need to know about Elena. Tomorrow we will be covering Vega, the solar angel, the healer of your army. So if you guys haven't hit the big uh, thumbs up button yet, hit the big thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, until then, keep wa waging war and have a good day.